Still's disease is an auto-inflammatory disease and it's present in both young children and older adults. And the two terms that are used for still disease is in the pediatrics, it's, or in under 16, it's systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis, or SJIA. And in the adults, it's known as AOSD, or adult onset stills disease. And essentially, the disease is pretty much the same. It just is differentiated by the age of onset. So what happens in Stills disease is that it is an auto-inflammatory disease and you get increased inflammation in the body that manifests in a number of different organs. So these patients typically suffer from periods of fevers, they'll have skin rashes, they'll have arthritis and painful joints and very often this inflammation can extend into major organs like the heart, like the lungs. And so it can cause havoc in a patient um, who has Stills disease. What's causing this inf increased inflammation is the pro-inflammatory cytokine IL-1 or interleukin-1. There is an increase in the production of this pro-inflammatory cytokine and because of that you get inflammatory effects on these organs. What you'll also find is that you'll have raised levels of inflammatory markers in the blood such as um, CRP and ESR and very often these are some of the leading indicators for the physician when they're not quite sure what's wrong with this patient because they come in with non-specific symptoms everything from a rash to a fever people get these all the time but when they do the blood test and they see these elevated levels of inflammatory markers then the radar goes up and says, well maybe this is something more than just uh, you know, an influenza or some other infection um, and so the physician will then dig further